I think I'm gonna watch yeah I think I'm gonna watch the rock one that looks pretty good it's pretty new too just came out nine days ago it's not too old well that's pretty ancient in internet time I guess I just know the rock is kind of like become like a walking advertisement okay so why is the rock you losing thousands of fans per hour this is this is interesting news let's check it out should back it up a bit. The Rock just made WrestleMania's most disliked video ever, and through some terrible podcast appearances, a completely out of touch fundraiser, and his reputation as a <clears throat> walking, talking advertisement. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> it's exactly what I said. I said he's literally become a walking advertisement. <laughs> world's fakest celebrity has for the first time sorry i hate keep pausing it all the time i hate keeping i hate to keep pausing it but i just saw in like target there was an there was like an ad for there was a section for, for the rocks like perfume or something he's everywhere i can't get rid of him i'm ever seen a fall in instagram followers but the biggest contributor might be his endless list of lies on everything from oh. his movie earnings to fast food consumption for example back in he lied about the movie earnings the rock posted this photo to his instagram claiming i've never been to in and out before which didn't say more that serious i remember i remember this this was this was crazy like he posted i've never been in and out and like he was that he was there like he was literally there like years ago until roughly five years later when in august 2022 he'd post the following video this is the very first time that i have ever tried an in and out burger or in and out fries it's or so stupid out for that matter he'd therefore it's, it's so stupid um what's an in and out burger uh in and out in and out is a restaurant i've actually never had in and out myself it's in america uh probably america only but not where I'm not where I'm from. I'm from Ohio. It's not in Ohio. Maybe it's in California. But anyway, the rock is totally he just totally lied, dude. He just he just lied in everybody's face. Like he literally had that post like I first time I've been to in and out, which is OK. And then years later, it's like, look at this first time I went to in and out burger. <laughs> Claimed for a second time it was my first ever time eating in and out yet he might not have been guilty given he also said this. Now I've picked up some in and out burger before for some buddies of mine. I've never tried it so this is a first. Uh -huh. That would be until December 2023 when The Rock claimed for a third time he'd had my first in and out burger experience also pretending like he'd never even tried fast food before. I didn't know the lingo, didn't know who to pay, where to pay, didn't know shit before adding some <laughs> self congratulations comments about leaving a massive tear. This led to mainstream media articles and a 6 million view Penguin Zero video. This is the third time he's done it. He keeps- Oh, I remember this video. This was a good video. You should check out- You should check out this video from uh, Charlie, uh, Penguin Z Zero, aka Moist Critical. He keeps lying. Yeah, that's a good video. ...that he's trying in and out for the first time every couple of years. The other two videos are still on your Instagram page. Forcing The Rock to change his description by adding, my first ever in and out burger experience again. Thanks to the fans who reminded me that I went to in and out years ago and totally forgot about Dude, it. Dude, what a, were... what a freaking cop out. <laughs> he totally just tried to... He totally just tried to like beat her on the bush and get into... And just try to like get dig himself out of that deep hole he was in. Thanks to the fans who reminded me that I went in, in and out years ago and totally forgot about it. <laughs> Charlie, yeah, Charlie is great. Yeah, he's awesome. One of my favorite, uh, my favorite is still the one where he explains the difference between Clip and Matt <laughs> with Sneeko. Yeah, that one's great. I, that was hilarious. Yeah, I take most of my inspiration from, uh, <clears throat> yeah, uh, Moist Critical and... Oh, whatever you want to call him. I'm just going to call him Charlie. I take it from Charlie and uh, PewDiePie, pretty much. Felix. Uh, that's what I grew up watching. Uh, him and those two. I also kind of watched... I know Markiplier and Jacksepticeye were out as well, but I didn't really watch them that much. Mostly PewDiePie and uh, Moist Critical. But yeah, they're huge inspirations for me, for sure. I love them both. Anyway, back to The Rock. 
and she reminded me that I went to in and out years ago and totally forgot Cop about out. it. But there was another lie that did way more damage. Black Adam was released in December 2022, where yet after its theater run, I still ended, haven't seen this movie. Insider published an article reading Box Office Bust Black Adam Faces Theatrical Losses. Ooh. The article explained that the film needed to earn around 600 million worldwide to okay. break even. Yet box office experts believe Black Adam will stall out with less than 400 million globally. Now Whoa. Wait. The movie stands to lose 50 million to 100 million in its theatrical run. Although only three days later, The Rock was saying the opposite. Waited to confirm with financiers before I shared this excellent Black Adam news. Our film will profit between 52 and 72 million. Fact. Also attack. What? So like it's supposed to wait. I'm confused. 600 million. There's a lot of numbers going on here. What do the other articles say? The film needed to earn around 600 million to break even. Yet the box office experts believe it will stay stall out with less than 400. Now the movie stands to lose 50. Okay. In its the Waited to confirm with financiers before I shared this excellent Black Adam news. Our film will profit between 52 oh, so and 72 million. So he was saying it was going to profit between 52 and 72 million, but they were saying it was going to lose like 100 million, 200 million. Million fact. Also attaching a deadline article which stated, There's some snarking going on out there that Black Adam is poised to lose 50M to 100M. And that is simply just not true. The movie is bound to break even and be in the black. Well, it turns out this article was written with false information hmm. that The Rock had personally leaked to the journalist to make his film seem profitable. After 25 years, hmm. we finally found out what The Rock is cooking. The books. But the thing that's- There's some real- There's some real- Real suspicious activity going on here. Hold on, I want to see on Rotten Tomatoes how much. What is the score of Black Adam? Oh, it's not. It's not terrible. It's just. It's got a. I mean, it's got a thirty-eight percent on from the reviewers. But I always say don't don't even pay attention to the reviewers on Rotten Tomatoes because they're actually p people being paid to write reviews. I would pay attention to the audience score, which is just the audience people not being paid, and they just write reviews. That's a that's a very high audience score, eighty eight percent with over five thousand verified ratings. So it's actually a pretty good movie, I guess. Anyway, what else we got? Oh, he got we got the food, his schedule or what is it called? His uh, daily intake of food or something. What's really cooking his reputation is perhaps the cooking itself, as The Rock's longest running and most off-putting lies are on the topic of diet and exercise. For example, The Rock claimed to be eating a suspicious amount of food. Anywhere between six to... Well, I would say possible almost 8,000 calories a day. Which was quickly shut Jesus down Christ. by Greg Doucette. There is no way The Rock burns... What the fuck? Six to 8,000 calories? I only eat like max 1800 a day i don't eat that much that's insane 600 6 8000 calories i can't even imagine that's like six of me it's off enough calories to average six to eight thousand calories a day and look like this if he actually ate those kind of calories six to eight thousand a day he would be a hundred pounds overweight who went yeah, through seriously. the entire daily diet before adding this he described about three thousand calories maybe but where do we get the six to eight total thousand calories? The Rock also uploaded a raw uncut leg There's workout, no way. which he called intense and unlike anything I've ever done, which Greg went on to criticize. But look at the grimaces on his face. Notice how hard he seems to be pushing. This is two plates on each side. A man of the Rock's stature, size, and strength. I would believe that this would be a cakewalk. Many bikini competitors could lift this much weight. And I'm not trying to strength shame him here, mm. but I believe that you're lying when you say that this kicked your ass. There is no way that this was difficult for you. Highlighting the rocks most that looks like it that looks like a fake struggle to me. <laughs> Just spewing shit out of my mouth. Of the rock stature, size, and strength. Yeah, that little butt that butt squat there looked pretty fake. Yep. That uh, yep, that's pretty fake there, I have to say. That's not a that's not an accurate butt squat. Yes. I would believe those butt muscles aren't moving in the way I think they should be.
that this would be a cakewalk. Many bikini competitors could lift this much weight. And I'm not trying to strength shame him here, but I believe that you're lying when you say that this kicked your ass. There is no way that this was difficult for you. Highlighting The Rock's most notable lie of all. There's it, not a fucking chance in hell he's clean. No. Not a chance in hell. As big as The Rock is at 50. On the topic of steroids, yeah. Johnson has said he hasn't touched them since. He's totally juicing, dude. There's no way he's not. Look at that body at 50. Since he was 18, when he tried them before college. Sure, you get a lot of people out there who will suspect and say shit. They want to negate the hard work you put in. Although it's strange to see him only getting bigger, despite now being into his 50s. Eddie Hall gave his voice on what Dwayne might be using. I would believe that The Rock would be on TRT, which is testosterone replacement therapy. A very good thing to do. It's actually very good for you, very healthy for you. While Joe Rogan theorized he was probably- Could be on the healthy more, stuff. You can't even get there with HRT. I don't even know. I don't know anything about this stuff, so I'm not going to say anything else. But we could be could be using healthy stuff. You know, I don't know. That's not HRT. Which was again echoed by Greg Doucette. Not only do I not think he's natural, I don't think he's on HRT. I think he's on the the kitchen sink. Whatever he can take. Really? I think he's on all of it and then some. You don't get big like that into your 50s compared to your 40s and 30s. Like you see some photos of him in his 30s. He's way bigger and leaner now. This has helped him to earn the following title: The Rock is the fakest celebrity in Hollywood. And nothing yeah, solidified I... this harder than The Rock's recent Joe Rogan <clears throat> episode. I was very hyped for this podcast. Yeah, well, before we get into that, yeah, I just, yeah, I think he's pretty fake, dude. Like, seriously. I do, I make this stuff at work. What do you make at work? Oh, the testosterone and HRT things? Oh, you make it at work? Oh, interesting. So is it like, is it like, Healthy stuff? I, I don't know anything, so you have to educate me. You have to, Is it like healthy stuff or what? Oh, it's quite common for men over 50? Okay. All right, I stand corrected then. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. I didn't know. So, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe he's just doing that. But regardless, I think it's just kind of... He puts off... If he's not f actually fake, he puts off a very fake persona, in my opinion. <laughs> oh, so he's still like a walking advertisement, dude. Anyway. By this harder than The Rock's recent Joe Rogan episode. I was very hyped for this podcast, but it was honestly quite boring. Rock unironically has some serious politician traits with how he takes the middle road and nods his way through anything potentially controversial Joe would say. As mentioned, yeah, he doesn't want to hurt his hurt himself. Episode. You tell The Rock just did not want to give his opinion on anything, and he's walking on eggshells. You know, he's yeah. definitely worried about saying anything controversial or getting canceled. Additionally, the Rock but if you come on, if you go on to Joe. Joe Rogan you have to you have to be prepared to like talk about controversial things right their body starts losing the ability to uh starts losing the ability to make testosterone and the loss can lead to health complications especially important for uh very active men okay so that makes a lot more sense now thank you so yeah he's probably doing that but yeah, uh, back to Joe Rogan though. Yeah, you you have to be able to talk about controversial things without you know a filter on his show. So um, <clears throat> yeah, walking on eggshells is just not going to make the podcast very interesting. Avoided controversy by controlling every topic, leading to other comments such as Rock has asked Joe about a hundred questions so far, and I don't think Joe has asked Rock a single one. Joe is doing all the talking about the same old shit, and I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> the whole episode just felt kind of weird, not only because of Joe previously calling The Rock a steroid user, but because The Rock had also called Joe Rogan out himself. I thought oh. The Rock disowned Joe during the whole N word incident. Back in I don't know about this. When Joe posted this iconic video, The Rock stood firmly behind him by writing, Great stuff here, brother. Perfectly articulated. Looking forward to coming on one day and breaking out the tequila with you, although his support was met with backlash. <laughs> Dear The Rock, you're a hero to many people, and using your platform to defend Joe Rogan, a guy that used and laughed about using the N-word dozens of times, is a terrible use of your power. Mm. Have you actually listened to this man's many racist statements about black people, causing The Rock to fold in? Instantly, dear Don Winslow, thank you so much. For oh this. man, I hear you as well as everyone here 100%. I was not aware of his N word use prior to my comments, but now I've become educated to his complete narrative. Learning moment for me, man. He just he just like folded immediately, like there was no there was no fight to that. 
Wow. Showing he'd cave from the smallest bit of criticism. The Rock was the Damn. most sanitized, nuded, safe person I've ever heard audio of. Not one real opinion. He was like the breathing version of ChatGPT in 10 years. The Rock might be physically strong, but clearly has no public backbone, and nothing shows more comically than his recent Maui controversy. Oh no, what's this? <laughs> what's this now? The Rock and Oprah. <laughs> what's this about Maui? The People's Fund of Maui. Oh, I don't, I don't know about this. What is this oh well he'll explain it to me dollars <laughs> each before asking the public to donate so we appreciate any support that you can give what do i do what do i do this is what you do the people's fund of maui the comments have since been turned off completely yet they once echoed the sentiment math ain't mathing with this one you guys literally have so much money you can donate it and make it back within a year now the Rock yeah like what to respond he's like if he's like if he's he's like the most apparently the most paid celebrity and oprah is fucking rich as hell why can't they just do donate the money themselves, right? Why do they have to set, set a charity, right? They could, like he said, they could easily make that money back. Like, what the fuck? His $5 million donation was already extremely generous, yet once again he couldn't handle the backlash and uploaded a video claiming he'd done the wrong thing. When we first launched the fund, there was some backlash, and I want to address and acknowledge that backlash right now, and here's what I have to say about that. I get it, and I completely understand, and I could have been better, and next time I will be better. The Rock doesn't even feel like a real person anymore. He's basically just a walking business, with the whole walking billboard mentality becoming increasingly obvious to everyone. He only has mm. one mode, and that's sales mode. Exactly. For example, yeah. he simply had exactly. to celebrate his sold out wrestling match with a massive swig of tequila. And what about the drink of choice for his first time trying in and out? Well, again, two straight shots of his own brand of alcohol. Not exactly believable. But what about this wholesome video where he huh. pulls up to a tour bus? Oh, you those get... videos are so fake, dude. These, these video, I've seen these. These are so fake. There's no way. I mean, this is so, you could tell it's easy. Easy fake, easy fake. It, it's actually an ad. We're of course. Our second distillery, and we are the uh, largest employer of everybody in Jesus Maria. I love Jesus Maria. Oh, we just got it. Oh, yeah. Let me just tell you. Let me. Uh, let, oh, hey guys. Uh, let me pull up. Oh, hey guys. Do you know about my alcohol that I uh, that I just made? You want to buy it? It's literally. It's, he's a walking ad. Thank you, brother. Did you try the tequila? By scrolling to any part of his Instagram, you can see that around 75% of his posts are sponsored, and the nickname Jesus. Dwayne the Ad Johnson is therefore <laughs> perfectly fitting. This combined with every I love that. Dwayne the Ad, not Dwayne the Rock Johnson, Dwayne the Ad Johnson. Dude, that's amazing. I love that. Whoever thought of that, that's amazing. Everything else has severely wounded his image. However, his recent actions with the WWE have dealt the final blow. On the 23rd of January 2024, The Rock became a WWE board member and a voice for what takes place in the show. The Rock ensured the audience, at my core I'm a builder who builds for and serves the people, although so far he hasn't served anyone beside himself. How might you ask? Well, you'll need a bit of backstory. Roman Reigns was WWE champion for roughly three whole years, although it was hinted that the widely adored mm. Cody Rhodes would be next to take the title. The two had a long-running feud, so their matchup seemed perfect, and Cody had just won the Royal Rumble, the winner of which normally goes on to face the champ. Well, after all the hype had built, Cody Rhodes unexpectedly told Roman he didn't want to face him, randomly subbing himself out for The Rock, who had no place in the story. Story. Suspiciously, this was only 10 days after Dwayne became a board member, with many believing mm. The Rock had simply written himself into their feud. The highlight That's there really sus. over 700,000 dislikes. Oh my god. That is a huge dislike ratio. Holy shit. What the fuck? What? Wait, let me bring out the handy dandy calculator. What is that? 727, 727 plus 121, 848, all right. 727 divided by 848 times 100. 85, 86% dislike ratio, holy shit. That's insane. 
likes. Being given the title of the most hated WWE move ever. Yeah, that was sus as fuck. is now the WWE's most disliked video. <laughs> the backlash was so severe that the story was totally changed, with Cody successfully beating Roman in April, after which The Rock announced he was leaving. The story led some fans to state, I swear I haven't watched this much wrestling in years, although The Rock's personal following hasn't Holy been so healthy. Holy shit. Only 12 months ago, The Rock was gaining 5 million followers per month, although through everything discussed in this video, The Rock is now losing fans for the very first time ever. Wow. Wow. What a video. <laughs> what a video, guys. Man, The Rock, dude. What's the rock's net worth now? How how much does the rock does Dwayne? I can't see. Dwayne. How do you spell Dwayne? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Net worth. Network, not network. Eight well, okay, that works too. Eight hundred million? Holy shit. That's a lot of moolah. That's a lot of that's a lot of that's a lot of gold doubloons, dudes. Holy crap. And how much was the uh, the Maui rock? Oh my God, I can't type without seeing it. Rock and Oprah. How do you spell Oprah? O-P, Oprah, Maui, fund. How much was that amount? Oh, wait, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson pledged $10 million for Maui. Why from? Oh, I guess they gave money. That's good. Hopefully. Anyway, damn, what a crazy video. The Rock is losing thousands of fans per hour. Why? Well, that definitely answered that question. And uh, yeah, thanks to Sunny V2. Awesome channel. You guys should check him out.